Yo, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing? It's LA the second, or Lincoln, or Alex, you know what I'm saying? Or LA, you know what I'm saying? That's another episode of LA's Days. You dig? So today I'm doing a Q&A, all right? Q&A. Basically, I asked guys, give me questions. You guys gave me questions. So I'm gonna answer those questions. The reason why I want to do this is because I feel like the path I'm going in, the places I want to go, I can't go without supporters. I can't go without fans. I can't go without people by my side. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of you guys have been by my side. But I want to give back in my support for you and helping you guys understand who I am and where I'm coming from. And hopefully that actually helps you in understanding what my songs are about and what my poetry is about and why I'm doing this and who I am as a person. So the most important question that we got was, when was I saved? When did you become saved? One of those two. It's a very interesting question because technically, I don't remember. Now let me explain. I was raised in the church. I'm a pastor's kid, okay? Born up, raised in the church. I was a PK, that's what they called us. It was, I, you just always felt like you were in the church. I always had faith in God. I always believed that Jesus died for my sins, always. I got baptized at 11, I feel like. I honestly do not remember because one, it was so long ago and it was literally it just it was just that thing I'm like, yo, I'm already here. Like What is the you know what I'm saying? Which I realize now is a bit of an issue because I wish I remembered exactly when it was But I know I, I've been baptized. So I want to say 11. This is me being a hundred percent honest So I don't I, I'm expecting judgment all that stuff, but I'm gonna say 11 years old This is when I was saved officially brought into the church through baptism and I also have like explanations for why I believe you're saved fully when you are baptized. I understand saved by grace as well, but I think the whole package, the standard of what God wants is baptism, repentance, and faith. So that's why I'm basing it off of the standard. Obviously belief in God is the most important part, but I wanna say in terms of the operation or the process, I would say it's baptism last after faith and after repentance. I'm talking a lot, but yeah, so I think I was saved at 11, and ever since then, I've been chilling with G.O.D. Yeah, you know him. <laughs> that was funny, but whatever. Anyway, and then I really found my faith, 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 faith in God. Um, like, I got rooted when I really had to in grade 11. We downsized, like, four times, and um, the money was rough over there. We weren't, we were, we were never in a great financial, actually, we were. We were in a good financial place before, but after the downsizing, man, we were in some rough places. I mean, that's when I was like, yo, God, why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to my family? And he was like, yo, nice that. Pardon? He said, nice that. I'm God. And I said, oh, well, if you're God, then let's talk about it. And then he brought me through everything. He showed me some things. He brought me into some places with some people and I learned some things. When you have other people ask you questions on things, but you didn't really have the resources to back it up yourself, you just always been in that environment. It was different to actually have to do the work and I did the work, um, which is why I'm chilling. All right, next question. <laughs> it's a long answer. Next question I G-O-T was, what are your plans after uni, my G? What are your plans after uni, my G? Yo, this guy's actually sick. So to answer your question, my plans after university is to focus on my nonprofit, nonprofit. Why did I say nonprofit twice? <laughs> focus on my nonprofit organization the Fight Inside Society, I wanna go into it building. Right now we have a sort of foundation but I wanna build on it a little stronger. Music, I wanna develop my music. I'm talking to a manager right now-ish type of thing. Ish, that is nowhere near finalized, but I'm speaking it into existence. I think music is going to be a huge part of my future after uni. Acting, if it's between me and you, I know, I won't talk about that, I'll talk about it later. Um, but yeah, so definitely music, 100,000%, and definitely um, focusing on my nonprofit, The Fight Inside Society. Obviously, I want to start a family, get married, disciple, and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Expand the kingdom. Expand the kingdom, you dig? I actually realized I'm not even recording. That's frustrating. Anyways, next question. Who are your musical inspirations? Who are your musical inspirations? Kirk Franklin. Chance the Rapper, J. Cole, Eminem, Joyner Lucas, Joyner, yeah, Joyner Lucas. Honestly, I would say battle rap culture in general, uh, to be honest with you, Charlie Clips, Loaded Lux, Daylight, anyways, yeah, battle rap um, is, a, is a huge inspiration to me. Again, I'm a Christian artist, so it's not what they're saying, but it's how they're composing what they're saying, and you'll hear a lot, of, if you listen to battle rap and then listen to one of my new songs, 
you'll be like, oh, whoa, the way he put it together is a lot like battle rap. It's high tribet or tribet, ribbit. Next question. Do you compose your own music? If yes, what instruments do you play? I don't for the most part. I am, I want to say an artist because I rap and sing. For my singing songs, what I do is I record different parts of the songs, like mock-up versions. Oh, I guess that is composing. Okay. I don't, I don't write any, I do write notes. Okay. Maybe I do compose. Okay, yeah, I guess I do compose. I'll say yeah. I do compose. Not strictly though. Definitely not strictly. I just give a, a rounded out version and then have my actual musicians play it. Um, shout out to them, they're fire. If you ask what instruments you play, I play keys-ish, I play drums-ish, because I used to say I played eight instruments, and then I saw people that played instru eight instruments, and then I said I play nothing. I don't play it, I don't play anything. Yeah, like I can hold myself on bass, I can hold myself on trumpet, sax, I can hold myself-ish on guitar, upright bass, I can hold myself-ish. I can hold myself-ish. You know, I don't, I don't want to say I play anything cause, because then people might expect me to play it. And then, then where are we? We're stuck. Next question. Oh, this is interesting. You single asking for a friend. Now I never got these questions when I was younger. So I've always wanted to get one of these questions. I just want to bask in a moment real quick. All right. I am not single at all, at all. I'm wifed up. Um, yeah, I've been in a relationship now since May 2018. Also, how many instruments do you play? All right, answer that. A few-ish. Who's your favorite music artist and what's your favorite genre of music? Oh, wow. Uh, my favorite music artist? My favorite music artist. My favorite music artist? That's so broad. <sighs> I wanna say my favorite music artist is Kirk Franklin. And the reason why is because I kinda wanna do what Kirk Franklin is doing. I'm not the best singer. By far. When you listen to my album, album coming out soon, you'll realize I'm not the best singer on there. Except for the musicians. But everyone else that's singing on the album is a better singer than me. But I, I like composing it and creating those harmonies and organizing that. And I think Kirk Franklin does that as well. He's not the great singer, but he, he does that stuff when it comes to organizing and creating that, that sound. So I, I love that about him. So I'll say that just because that's, that's kind of the direction I'm going in. Also Chance the Rapper, because same thing almost with his newer stuff in regards to Colors book mostly. What's your favorite genre of music? I'm gonna have to go gospel. Not on any like, oh you're a Christian so you chose gospel. No, I think gospel has the best singers in the world. Music hits me really heavily when I'm feeling it. And gospel to me, this is my opinion on gospel, but I think that it is more of the context than it is the sound for me. If you believe otherwise, that's fine, but it's for me. I believe that it is the context of songs. So I think gospel can sound like anything. Folk music, jazz, hip hop, R&B. I think it sounds like all of that with the with the gospel context, which is also kind of what I'm trying to do with my album. So that's why I love gospel. Just feel, I think when God's in something, it just, you know, grabs you by the, the bootstraps. I've heard that before, bootstraps picks you up from the bootstraps all right that's it that's been the last question for a little second thank you guys so much for checking out this video um, if you have any more questions let me know if you have any comments dm me my instagram is at l dot a dot the second which is t-h-e number two and the look out for the next music video it's about to go i was gonna look in the mic again but it's not on it's about to go dumb nuts about to go crazy god bless like comment subscribe all that all that you already know what it is and one more thing I like that. let's go let's go oh it's only the second yes i got mad